Life after death. What happens? There's many beliefs, but there's a lot of correspondence. They all line up. A lot of them line up. In the Bible, heaven and hell is capped. We know this. If you still are in that matrix, leave now. It's not for you. But we know about reincarnation, the cycle of it. A lot of people don't know that you have the option to break the cycle, that you don't have to come back here. That really, you might not even start from Earth. You're not from here. People get talk about star seeds. That's one aspect of it. Because you are a star. Literally. A fallen star that's come back down to Earth. Maybe to learn some lessons. Maybe you came down here to teach. Maybe you came down here to create. Everyone has a purpose. But it depends. that's for you to find out. Only you can determine that. You already know it. It's happened to your soul. But with reincarnation and breaking a cycle, the comedic idea of the afterlife, that resonates heavy with me. Having the heart being weighed light as a feather. It's going into the work of what you're doing on the planet. As well as leaving it all behind after it's all said and done. The day-to-day -day shadow work. That's what you do to grow on Earth. Then cosmically, you got to let go everything of on that you did on Earth. That's taught by Panic. He goes in on what deeper on with the afterlife and his uh, talk for 18 hours on this. Y'all can catch that on his channel. That's not meant for TikTok. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is your idea of the afterlife is what's going to play out. Your mind dictates where you go. That's a gem. So if you think you're going to go to hell, what you would imagine would be your hell, that's where you're going to go. Your ideal heaven, that's where you're going to go. Or you may travel to cosmos, travel to the cosmic planes, the higher realms. Or you might come back down here if you go right back into the light. But I want to discuss a discussion because me and my, my homie Ku, we be talking about discussions after death. That meeting in the Hall of Amini with Anubis, Tahuti, and Osiris. How that discussion going to go getting back access to all of our Akashic records, remembering everything from previous lives, free future, that stationary point. These questions we think of, they help us like evolve, think, and want to transform and do better. Like when he told me, he asked me, he was like, what if they was to ask you, how was it being a God on earth? But now think of it if you didn't know you was a God at all. You weren't conscious at all and you just got asked this question after. In realizing your power, power depending on where your consciousness is, what are you going to do? Going to go back and try and test that power? Because you might still in that program, depending on your consciousness. Or like I said, you're going to see what's up with the higher realms. Or like I said, having a hard light as a feather. Being light, not heavy, no heavy emotions, heavy thoughts, keeping a high frequency. That's what happens when you eliminate all those negative thoughts. That's how we use the afterlife to transform now and today.